Justin Trump team to consider creating first ever White House crypto role. All bullish news, right? Let's remove the bullish word, the term. All news that's pumping. It's just the news that's pumping, basically. Literally, just look at this here. Watch our guru, just one of the accounts. 2.5 million followers. And crypto Twitter, X, it's just huge. You can make a huge difference if you have an X account and relate to crypto. Because most of the audience is right there. So anyways, ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode. I'm going to be a little critic today. Yeah, I'm going to criticize everything. Who cares, man, what I hold? I'll criticize gold. I'll criticize dollar. I'll criticize Bitcoin. And matter of fact, I pretty much hold a tiny portion of all of these, right? NVDA reports 35.1 billion in revenue. Just look at this year. AI, crypto, AI, crypto. Reminds me of 2021 era. Like literally. Terra Luna, MM Finance. What are the chances? All these players are still back with different names and non doing the same damage. It's happening. If you get on the meme circle, the circus, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I don't know why I have this one here, but I'm talking about overall. So please don't fall for the all this circus clown, whatever ding dong that's popping nonstop. I made I should have made my point clear by showing you so many experiments. And just because I have something on the watch list doesn't mean, oh, this guy holds some, he's pumping. No, no, no. Just and I have to remove 99% of the stuff that's on the list right now. This was just for me to do the experiments so I can show you exactly. Right? For data. Today, I want to talk about two new videos. Well, not exactly two new videos, but I want to react to this thing real quick. Bitcoin rises to new record above 94,000. This interview with Here's this guy, Trump media. Right? he's a total critic of Bitcoin. He's like, this is a garbage. And it's telling thing. because they spent that money on Democrats and Republicans. And now uh, you've got a lot of elected officials uh, who are in office that crypto spent a lot of money on. Um, and they're running around saying that they've got a mandate for their special interest agenda. But there's, there's one problem, and that's there's no mandate because the American people don't like or use crypto. And nothing about this election changes that. And let me just run through a few quick facts. When you say, I don't like crypto or I didn't like things going on, it's not liking or disliking, it's facts. Uh, there's a CNBC poll from late 2022 that found that just 8% of Americans had a positive view personally? of crypto. In 2024, there was a Harris poll that found that 69... All right, I don't want to play the entire stuff. He literally said, uh, according to the poll, 8% Americans actually are like interested in crypto. How true is that? Hmm, that's a critic? I could believe that. If I go to my uncles or anyone, literally, they don't care. They have their money, they have their land and property, they don't really care. They never cared when I talked about Bitcoin when it was tiny, down. Even if it's like 100,000, I don't think they care. And I'm serious, I'm not even joking. And now you might say, yeah, because rich people who are made of, like who made it and boomers, they don't understand. Yes, you're right. And there's a lot of things in play here. But it is also true if I'm, you know, seeing this because, again, I told you I'm going to be a critic. Holding everything, doesn't matter, man. What are the chances? And before I get away from this post, look over here, right? Bitcoin is going way higher than 100K. Here's why. Who's saying? Michael Saylor. Why is he letting us know about this? And then still, he wants his buying. He's raising a lot of funds. When I look at this here, it kind of scares me, man. <laughs> Micro strategy. Look at this. It's, it was the goat of the century, probably. And according to Peter Schiff, this is bigger than the two largest gold combined. How is this real? Their market cap, this, is, this just reached 100 billion market cap. That is wild, man. MicroStrategy hits 100 billion market cap under the leadership of Michael Saylor has reached blah, blah, blah. And he's going around everywhere. A genius salesperson, man. You have to understand this. Peter Schiff is also a salesperson. We all are salespeople. But uh, Netflix has a new documentary. Watch it, maybe. Buy, 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 buy. There's no sell. Buy, buy, throw away. Buy more, buy more, throw away. Okay, promote, promote. Show show everybody. Buy, buy, Bitcoin. When was the last time you seen somebody promoting dollar? Hey, I'm promoting dollar, bro. Please go buy some dollar, bro. And by the way, this is fake. This is fake. Yeah. Prop money. Yeah, look at this. It's actually real shit, man. Look at this here. So now you probably know. Oh my God, all the 
money and the stuff that all these dudes were flashing, making you buy all the garbage stuff. Were they real or fake? You, you may question. But whatever. Who's no one's promoting dollar, man? What is this? Oh wait, U.S. government is promoting dollar. No. Oh wait, they're promoting Bitcoin. But if they do that, they're gonna destroy dollar. How can the USA do that to its own country, to its own power, which is the dollar? Nah. And also irony, Trump, right? Even though I gave him a vote this time, he literally said at one point BDC is sucks. But I can literally pull out that video. Maybe in the next one I'll do it. I'm just doing this impromptu. He literally said crypto doesn't, you know, it has no value, blah, blah, blah. And then this time everything is like pro crypto. I'm like, whoa. And of course, Elon Musk investment. He didn't just put 100 million or whatever in the campaign for no reason. It's an investment. All right. Everything has some reasoning. Hanging out with the dude, going playing golf, just to be shown in the news. And anytime you put this T word with the title, it gets a lot of views, man. And the dude is right. Mr. T is right. His, his, his name and it's popular. It's always trending. Not always the happening. The algorithm doesn't favor all channels, but I'm saying it's just real. I've seen a lot of channels just, just grew, even politicians, just talking about how I partnered with this guy. I'm helping him in the cabinet, blah, blah, blah. That YouTube actually took off from like in a short period of time. So I like to study them as well. Not just politics. I like to study like how they're doing this on YouTube and that and whatever. Keeping all that aside, this kind of freaks me out. If you see this, man, this is kind of wild, right? Why I'm saying this? Look at the bottom, man. I mean, of course, it's if you held, if you bought in the beginning without, because how many people believed in Bitcoin, right? If 88% of the Americans polling, and that's probably right to a great level. Well, I'll prove my point in a second, right? You might like, no, man, 50% Americans. Bro, it's a whole globe, right? Understand this. Most people are milking from the other countries. They're milking the US economy. Most people are losing here, like all the Gen Z's and stuff. Yeah, let's put in this NFT, put in that NFT, this and this, and we're losing everything. From the scam scammers and all that stuff right the winners are the whales who are moving around other places who knows right and what are the chances why would michael sell us anything negative about bitcoin it's not possible because he takes money he loans money to buy more bitcoin and then micro strategy goes up so if you don't want to hold bitcoin you can hold micro strategy according to him basically you can get a piece of this by holding the stock because micro strategy is all hoard hoarding onto bitcoin and there's also something to think about if you if you keep holding on to if everybody keeps holding on to stuff nobody trades anything so if you're just holding and nobody sells or trades then what's going to happen to the, the whole system ecosystem if nobody's spending this thing and just holding on to this like savings account people say right the economy is going to stop working basically because it's not going around unless they keep printing 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 but that's going to even cause massive inflation and that's going to skyrocket bitcoin to one million dollars maybe but then uh, each standard house would be worth 10 million dollars then what now you will need 10 Bitcoin to buy one average house. Then what? I mean, this is all real possibility, right? Because right now, everyone's speculating. This, yes, future. I'll hold it for the future, but who? nobody knows the future. People are taking money, the tax money, right? Why? Dude, the future generation is going to pay it back. Don't worry. But how do you know what's going to happen in the future generation? AI is there. People might not have jobs. Might, you know, struggle. Find you probably have, will have jobs, okay? When I say people may lose jobs, yeah, it'll be a struggle, most likely. But at the same time, the, you have to understand this. The corporations need to give something to the people, the veg, the veggies and whatever. You cannot put them idle. If all these human beings were idle, it's it, the economy, the, even the top tier, the corporations, they, they don't gain anything. They want to suck as much from the, the dudes, right? So they'll pay you less, they'll make you buy more. See the difference here? Pay you less, still make you buy more, somehow convince you to buy more, promote stuff so you don't need and all that stuff. So, sure, they will make you do something, pay you less money and make you again, consume a lot more and all that stuff so they can squeeze as much possible. Because everything was AI and robots. Hey, corporations, how about you feed yourself? You create a robot, you create, you create let the robot create a product and let the product uh, robot sell you the product. You buy the product and you repeat. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Ask yourself. Right. And now, if you again, if you look at this whole thing pattern, it's a goat, obviously. If you bought an early man, it's a winner. I would have sold off. I, well, I held some and I would have made so much profit, though. But you only make profit when you sell. And there are people who are selling this for what? For this. They use this to buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin goes up. They sell Bitcoin. They take this out. 
a lot more of this basically but however a lot of most of the people take a lot of less of this because either they're losing it or they're holding on to it or whatever and what they do with this they use this to put a down payment on a property or house they can live with the family and have fun feed the cats and stuff did a video when i said people don't use bitcoin as in a payment and all that yeah it's true to some extent but yeah people do use but very little so now i told you right even i hold bitcoin man so doesn't matter i'll still tell you whatever it is because michael saylor is there to pump the market he's there i don't need to promote it and now ask yourself how many people are promoting this nobody it doesn't need any promotion this has been the king Dedollarization is happening you know why how, how how i know if you look at gold gold is still going up today because china and other banks are buying it Dedollarization is happening however us is still the largest consumer base right when it happens far away but at this still very moment everybody is looking for this just look correct me when i'm wrong if if nobody was looking for this then why stock market is sometimes up and down because everybody's putting money taking money putting money taking money etf desperate for bitcoin etf and all this why because putting money taking money putting money taking money and who makes some of the cuts in the spreads the exchanges the corp all the companies and stuff see how the money is spread in so many ways commission wise it's very interesting though when you look at one product that comes from china and it is broken down in pieces $10 goes to labor, this goes to this, this goes to this, 90% goes to the corporation's profit. Oh my God, what? So the guy who actually was responsible to make this, the whole thing, only gets like 1% of the whole profit? That sucks, right? Tell me, how close am I? I'm not making things up, right? Ask yourself. Because a few days later, this is going to be irrelevant. I still have my iPhone 1. You want to see that 3G, the first one? It's, it's crazy, isn't it? I'm gonna show you right now. Hold on, hold on. Since I mentioned this. Ta -da! Oh my god, I shouldn't have dragged this so long. Ta -da! Look at this. Look at this. I don't know, I'm, I'm a gadget guy to some extent, so sometimes I collect some of the old stuff. Look at this, this is real. This is my first iPhone. The first that just came out. The 3G. <laughs> and they made me buy this. See that? Look at the difference here. The fat one. Look at the camera changes. Look at the camera, man. Look at this camera. One tiny. And then you can see the difference between that and this one. Look at this one. Look at this two. This is eight, the little older one, and this one. Look at the size and look at the camera again. See, see the difference? See what just happened here? <laughs> from one camera to two cameras. From two cameras to three cameras. And then we'll have four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. Right? It's gonna get bigger like this. So you're gonna hold like this. Mom, mom, can you hear me, mom? Anyways, putting this aside now. Yeah, I, I know. When I do videos, man, it just it's what it is. Some like, some don't. But bear with me. We are almost there. Close. Alright, gold is up there, shows you clear sign that something is happening in the economy. Also, there's a distraction being created. People are more focused on the crypto and on this side, they're losing the other side. When I see a dip on something, I only buy when I see in the red, okay? Why would I buy something that is skyrocketing? That's not my, my thing, but anybody can do whatever. There are billions of people in this world. They don't make decisions based on my stuff. So I'm just presenting what I can. Microsoft and S&P 500, it's up out in the sky, mainly because MicroStrategy literally killed it, man. Look at this here. It's a wild thing to see something like this. I don't know how long. How can it just keep going up and up? It's just wild. And like I mentioned about why would somebody keep promoting this? You have this whole account nonstop. Watch Guru is like 90% crypto, all crypto stuff. And all these are like getting millions of views. So these are the eight person basically that the other guy was talking about over here. You see? And I want to talk about this last video Peter Schiff did. But and if you look, check on the comments here. <laughs> comments, man. Comments. Look at the comments here. Look, the best time to invest in crypto was the first time you heard of it. The second is now. Really? I'm not sure if I should take advice. I don't like the attitude of the... <laughs> See, most people are criticizing and they're Bitcoin maxis. And I understand that totally. Because I told you, I differ from both. He will say this, Bit, uh, Bit, Peter Schiff over here, all right? Peter Schiff talks about gold, gold, I get it. 
And then, look, this was his last video. The biggest bubble of them all. <laughs> and some of the comments are like, yeah, you're right. And then, no, no, you don't know anything. Central banks continue to buy gold. Silent depression. Thank you, Peter. I'm drunk, but you make me think. <laughs> Peter was completely wrong on Bitcoin. See, the bigger fool theory is now law. There's two sides of it. And I agree. Because now, if you go back to Raul Paul's video, right? If you go back to Raul Paul's, that guy's totally BDC. He's like, this is the, this, the crypto is the next thing. Um, if you're not doing anything in crypto, then you're not going to make it in the next five years or whatever. So it's like everybody's opposing their thing. And Michael Seller is promoting it all the way. Why do you think he's announcing before promoting? I mean, before buying? People, and he made some valid point, Peter Schiff. Like when things, you, you're, most corporations will be quiet because they want the whole thing to drop so they can buy at a low price. Why would you announce to the world so they all can pump the price and then you buy at a high cost? Like it doesn't add up, right? And then he's talking to Rumble CEO or Rumble to hold. Basically, that's what they're doing. Going places, telling people to all the corporations, like, yeah, you should get a piece of this pie. You should get a piece of this pie. So when they get all of them to participate in the market, that's when the BTC goes to $1 million or whatever. And then they hold while I sell. That's the plan. You get the point? Before they sell. Because somebody has to hold. I don't want to be the one holding while they cash out. I want them to hold while I can take care of some and just feed my cats, maybe buy a Lambo. I'm not sure if I bought a Lambo. Oh, maybe a nice Ferrari or Porsche. All right, anyways. Yeah, there you go, my phones. That was the video. He literally says the biggest bubble of them all. Now, I want to finish it off with something real quick. Like I mentioned about promotion, right? Dollar is still valuable. Now, if you ask me, now, this is a valid question I'll ask you and ask, the, let's see, the responses. If you please comment and participate if you can. You have choices. If I give you one ounce of gold, I give you, well, you know what? I shouldn't say, let's say $100, $1,000, $1,000. I shouldn't say any one ounce and all that. Let's value it in $1,000. I'll give you $1,000 worth of gold, or I could give you $1,000 worth of BTC right now, or I could give you a $1,000 American crispy note, right? Federal Reserve note. What would you take? What would you take and why? If you ask me that question, let me start. I would take thousand dollars. Yeah, like wow, well, wow, yeah, why? I mean, sure, because you already have this or that. No, 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 not really. I could get some gold, sure, but I would rather rather get thousand uh, dollars. Why not BDC? First of all, BDC is already up there in the sky. If I really had no BDC at all, maybe I could think about it. Literally, but I'm not desperate to just keep going with, you know, buy, 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 when everything's skyrocketing at this level. All right. You see what I mean? So I'd rather take the thousand dollars because I could pay some debt, which is, which has interest. And again, going up, whatever, or I could use that thousand dollars to buy into some of the red ones, which I believe has potential. That's how I'm going to make it. I mean, that's how I see it. Why buy something that's already skyrocketing? I mean, only if I had none of it at all. Different case. Gold? Why not gold? First of all, I want to be, I want to have liquid. Most of the stuff right, right now, liquid. Okay? Depending on how much you already have. So if you have a like, tiny person of already in the precious metal, or if I did, if the average Joe did, then why would I keep accumulating something? Right? My main focus is to just trade in and out and hold long term, cash out, because I told you I want to buy a spot. Commercial. But residential doesn't matter. I want, I want to expand the studio. So if I don't give you context, then it's not going to make sense. If you want to buy a car for $50,000, then what? You're going to take your Bitcoin and go be like, hey man, take my Bitcoin. That same guy is going to tell you to convert that BDC into dollar. And I've went around and faced some of these things, believe it or not. Buying accounts or in a black hat market or whatever, not, totally not illegal, but I'll tell you this, that's the that's difference here. BDC is accepted, not everywhere. If you go out right now and drop this anywhere versus a Bitcoin, I have, according to my so-called P brain, 8th <laughs> grade IQ, I'll tell you most Americans would pick up this. They would pick up this. They wouldn't care about that at all. There was a survey done. Will you take dollar, hundred dollars right now? Or will you take some Bitcoin? Most 99 persons they said they will take the dollar right here. So it is still the king, man. And you know what's irony? If you think, first of all, I'll just... This is when you drop the mic, right? Your people, your YouTubers, your influencers, whoever you follow, 
they are the ones who are literally selling you shit, but they're cashing out in this. Every night they just go and they smell this money like this. Money. I'm, I'm not joking. And they're selling you BDC and all that stuff. So if they are doing it, why are you defending all these fools? Let's get real, man. Let's play the real game like a real man. Right? No alphas. Just let, let be real Sigmas, man. Independent mindset. Everyone's like going in flocks. Sheep in disguise as sheep. As fools. So open your mind. All right? Do whatever, but think about it. What I just said. 99% of the cryptos here are going to go down the drain. I can see that. And literally, when an individual, when politics is involved, it's wild. Anything can happen next year, man. I'm not going to make any predictions. I literally see even the some of the influencers, I can say, maybe it's a little decent. That dude is also still pumping and all knowing what's happening. But it's okay. I guess this is the game. This is how the game works. Because if you don't pump it, if you don't promote, it's all promotion. You can see that. You'll see people promoting gold to some extent because of gold, this and that. Okay, asset class, I get it. But the massive amount of BDC promotion, it just tells you exactly what's happening. When, I mean, dude, this is wild, wild. Anyways, that's my two cents today. I like to, you know, keep it real. So again, BDC, gold or dollar? Let me know in the comments and I shall see you very soon. I've got a bunch of work I need to finish. Feed my cats. Daily day job, day job. Now I gotta go get the day job done. Alright, I'm out. Peace for now.